Hey, it's Charlotte Prepper. I uh, wanted to come on here and share you an article that I saw this morning. And it uh, comes out from uh, Taste of Home. And the article is 10 items you might not find in your grocery store and why. So I'm going to read a little bit of this to you. Um, be sure to pull out your pen and paper and make your, make your list um, of these 10 items. So before I get into this, make sure you are liked and subscribe to this channel. I appreciate you all. Hope you're having a good Saturday, by the way. Um, so it was talking about how, um, of course, we all know this. This is nothing new. Um, that it looks like the food shortages have continued in 2022. Hello. <laughs> um, so, um. So let me go ahead and start with the list and it says what are stores running short on the first one is avocados and it says um, that the u.s inspectors are posted in mexico to check whether mexico avocados can be safely exported into the united states um, without their presence imports may be on hold so um, that could be a a factor on um, less avocados if you like avocados which I do number two as we know from um, back in 2020 is the uh, paper goods so it says and um, you know this has been going on for the last two years off and on the shortages now we're doing better on the the paper goods um, but this could be it says it will be a continued shortage um, so uh, make sure you are supplied in your toilet paper, your paper towels, your paper products such as, um, you know, the paper plates, that kind of stuff. It says that uh, as paper mills struggle um, to keep up with the demand and supply chain issues abound. Number three, canned goods, as we know. It says with people stocking up <laughs> on canned goods in 2020 and 20 one and of course now in 2022 manufacturers continue to face an aluminum shortage so it says the the shortage has continued and a reduced supply of the products like tomato paste canned vegetables and soda is to stay the norm so number four eggs and meat and we know about that um, we've been hearing about the eggs and the problems with the meat issues. Uh, it says last spring news of a sh chicken shortage resulted in fast food chains cutting back on chicken items. The shortage moved over to the grocery stores in the fall. So it talks about that, um, you know, parts of the U.S. are already seeing prices on the eggs. Of course we have. Um, and the poultry and beef go up because of the high demand. Um, it even talked about maybe switching to vegetarian dinners, but um, some of us, you know, we need to have our meat. Um, I'm a meat and potato girl, and I know when I'm short on, um, when we're short on meat, you know, we need that protein to have in our diet. So, okay, so number five is pet food. Make sure we're not forgetting about our furry friends, our furry family members says the continuing um, shortage of the aluminum, back to the aluminum thing again, and shipping issues have led to shortages in dog and cat food across the country, with several local papers reporting bare shelves at the pet stores. That's not good. Um, it says even big retailers like Target and Amazon are facing shortages of pet food, and I know um, I've seen some videos recently, you know, of course, I all of us watch other prepper channels and, and, you know, ones that go into the stores and show you the shelves and stuff. There, there really is, um, been a shortage of that, um, dog and cat food. But, you know, I did go to the Dollar Tree the other day, um, when I did that, um, uh, prepping haul for y'all. And there was, um, you know, cat and food stuff there so make sure you're checking out the the Dollar Tree first I'm not sure if your your pets are um, kind of you know 
they like certain stuff. I know uh, I used to have, growing up, I had pets and that had uh, wouldn't eat certain, you know, dog food or cat food. They wouldn't eat it, so they're picky, but maybe, you know, when it gets to be hard times, um, if they get hungry enough, they'll eat it, but um, check out your Dollar Tree for that. Okay, number six, Lunchables. Um, I don't eat Lunchables, but many of y'all have kids, grandkids, uh, nephews, nieces, cousins. Um, so it says, with school and work back in full swing, this popular uh, lunch item will be off the shelves. I have seen it low in um, the Walmart that I've gone to. Haven't really checked it out that much in the grocery store, so um, just keep an eye on that. Number seven, juice boxes. Again, another kid item, but course I like to drink juice boxes and um, I like to have those on hand especially um, that you don't have to refrigerate it says um, says the NY Post reported that a smaller apple crop along with packing and supply issues has led to shortages of Capri Sun and other much loved juice brands so have y'all noticed that um, any of the juice items have been low um, have a little bit um, more so the the juice boxes you know than um than the juices i know i mean it's kind of hit or miss i've been on some days where it's there and some days where it's you know very empty so I, yeah i'm not sure if it's the timing or the day or you know again you know the labor shortages people um you know less workers and stuff Okay, number eight, cream cheese. And we know we had to talk about that back in uh, around November of last year about the cream cheese. Um, it said, uh, well, I'm not going to say too much about that, but check out your cream cheese. Um, it says they were been, been running out of uh, Philadelphia cream cheese. I haven't really seen it too much, uh, cream cheese, but, you know, other brands are, are, you know, just as good to me. Aldi's has a good brand. Um, Dollar Tree sometimes has some cream cheese. I have used it before. It's not bad at all. Okay, number nine, baby formula. And we all know about that. That's the, the biggest talk right now is the baby formula. So make sure you're um, you're looking out for your shelves and, and getting these items, even if it's for, you know, your church um, that has uh, single moms or, or mothers you know, help someone in need. If you have the means to get it for somebody, get it for for a mom in need. Um, give them ideas to, you know, look up recipes. And, um, of course, there's that powdered milk and there's that, um, uh, that Nido milk and there's goat milk and uh, things like that you could probably do. Um, number 10 is liquor. So, um, that's not, uh, something that, you know, I'm need of and, and look for. So, um, these are the, the top 10 that the, this article, which I will link it, uh, below in the description and it's from Taste of Home and it talks about, um, this is the last question on here. It says, why are these items in short supply? And it says it's because, um, not enough people to make the goods, move the goods, and sell the goods. So, all right. Well, I uh, hope you uh, wrote some of these items down. Hope you'll be in your store today to, to get some of these items and, um, you know, keep your eyes open to what's going on there and, and look at your pantries today to see what you need to fill in the gaps in. Um, in in your pantry and your refrigerator your freezer you know your home so y'all have a great day and i'll see you soon i have a prepping haul um to show you and um got some another topic i want to talk about uh soon i may do that um either tomorrow or the next day um let me know too i've um, got a question for you um how often do y'all like to see videos? Uh, would you be willing to, to watch two videos or uh, you like it once a day, every other day? Um, I know with um, 
you know, me looking for a job and um, changes in my life, uh, probably uh, that may factor in. But uh, let me know your, your thoughts. And I'm so uh, thankful for each and every one of you. Uh, you make this channel grow, and um, I'm getting close to my watch time hours. Um, I'm a little over 3,000. i got to get 4,000 to get monetized, so um, make sure you, you like, share, and um, subscribe. So y'all have a, a blessed day. Bye.